Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Gibran here from Real Call Capital. Uh, we are real estate brokers from here in Dubai and Seeking Dubai is our YouTube channel. And this is something we started back in 2021 uh, to try to help explain, you know, real estate investment opportunities in Dubai areas which were lacking awareness, undervalued real estate, and uh, also discuss macro trends. So that chat, starting that channel has been one of the best things we've ever done. It's helped us connect with thousands of people across the world and build hundreds of clients. Uh, and we're really grateful for the community that we've built. I haven't actually made content for the last few weeks. Uh, it's been a bit of a gap. Uh, the reason that was that I wanted to take a little bit of a step back and just analyze you know, the markets, also our position in it, right? We've, we've had an incredibly successful three, four years, but we want to make sure that we continue to deliver value. Now, one of the main purposes of this channel isn't to make the most flashy content or the most exciting content, but we are trying to find and analyze investment opportunities and explain them in a more analytical and a common sense approach. So since 2020, you know, you can kind of see the kind of ideas that we've been pitching and they're all on our YouTube channel. So you can click our playlist uh, playlist and kind of see like, you know, different ideas and how they've actually also panned out. Now, because we haven't made content for quite a bit of time, I thought we'll recap what's happening in our number one investment idea over the past three, four years, which has been the Alfred John area. So that's the idea for this video. And uh, if you know, if you're looking at your screen right now and you're seeing projects which you know have piqued your interest in the past and you want to explore them in more detail, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Our number's in the description box. We'd love to hear from you as well. So first up, how's the market doing, right? Did the market slow down this summer? So according to the new uh, land department data, which you can also pull up from DXP Interact, that's what I use, uh, you know, August was actually the second best performing month of this year. Now there are of course lag periods, so a lot of August transactions were closed maybe 30 to 60 days before that. And also, also a lot of offline registrations are pushed forward. Year on year growth is about 20%. Uh, so last year there were around 9,700 9, transactions. And uh, this is the second best month of the year after March, where there were about 200 transactions more. So August was like a very, very strong month. Now we're focusing on Alfred John today. And what we're gonna do is just look at the different components that we've previously talked about and promoted at various points in time over the past three, four years. And we'll just see what kind of performance is taking place over there in terms of prices and also point out some interesting trends as well. So here in Alfred John, we've got the uh, ready market, which is in, in green. This is Cortage and Dubai style. It's been around since 2011, 2012. Uh, and these are the kind of prices you're seeing uh, they're transacting for so this is low and this is a low and high range uh, also depends on types and other factors and the other thing you can see over here are the rental values so let me just kind of put some perspective on on those numbers uh, if, if you want to discuss any particular property type in detail just get in touch with us it's just easier that way and this is how the prices have changed over the years so we've got a lot of data on all for John uh, this goes back to like 2011 this is the average of all the property types there uh, so we had a like a rapid uh, rise like in 2011 to 2014 uh, when they were handing over uh, and then we saw a steady decline and then for starting from 2020 it's like been uh, strong and steady growth and this is all driven by end users. The other thing that has changed along with the prices is the rental value. So this is the uh, Alfred John three bedroom townhouse which is pretty much the most transacted property type in the ready market. And you can see back in like 2020, the rents were like 110,000. Currently, the same property is renting for like minimum 210, 220,000. Now those yields are pretty high and keep in mind that's based on today's values. So if we're looking at this chart again, from the majority of people who own right now, these three bedroom townhouses, they bought between 2018 to 2021, 2022. And then we've seen a decline in transactions because there's been less properties on the market. So most of those people are actually sitting on capital gains of at least 25, 30%. And on, on based on an average value of 2.4 million, and let's say your property is just getting vacated right now, you're getting a new lease, you're looking at eight and a half to 10% uh, rental yields, right? So where are you gonna get that kind of yield from? That is one of the reasons you don't have a lot of sellers in this market. And of course, most of them are also occupied by end users anyway. Okay, so that was what's happening in the ready market. And then in 2021, they launched this parcel of land over here. That's Marujo for John. We diverted a lot of our clients that we'd built up over the years into investing over here. And it's been one of the best investments you could have made in the past two, three years. Uh, the first launch of four bedroom villas in this entire area here in blue. And uh, you can see over here what the launch prices are and what the prices are right now. And then after the launching the villas, Nahil also launched back in 2021, these three areas over here in orange, and these are Marujo for John townhouses and over here you have three and four bedrooms uh, and you can see over here 
the price change as well from when they first launched to what they are right now. Now, one of the reasons prices have risen so much is because of the huge number of secondary market transactions that have taken place here. Check out some of our content on Muruja for John Thalal for John Jibbalili Village that we made previously. You'll understand these communities in a much more detailed way. Uh, but this is not even updated, but th this this map over here is actually showing every single resale transaction done in Marujo for John. And this hasn't been updated for like three, four months as well. So that's the summary of pricing of Marujo for John. The other things I'll quickly point out in terms of like uh, current valuations, the land in John, which we, which we sold a lot of back in 2021. Uh, you know, at that time, two years ago, prices were between 1.5 to 1.6 million for a 6,500 square foot plot where you can build your and design your own villa. Uh, and currently, like prices are minimum above 3 million. So it's quite astonishing. But again, not a lot of transactions happening at this price point because there are very few anyway. And then here up on the hill, we have Dilalo for John over here. And over here, you have different types of four and five bedroom villas. And then you have four bedrooms semi detached over here. So these are the kind of price points that they were launched at. That's a low and high range. And this is the kind of price ranges you're going to see right now. Just last week, Nikhil released about uh, eight to 10 cancellations in Talal for John, and they were all sold within, within a few hours of being released. Okay, the last area to look at is Jabal Ali Village. In our opinion, it's the most prime piece of land launched anywhere in Dubai in the last you know, cycle. And it's right on Sheikh Zayed Road. It has a limited number of villas in the center of the community. These were launched in November of 2021. And you can see the current prices compared to the launch prices as well. That's a low and high range. Um, and uh, the other thing to, uh, to look at is with these current prices, there were just 10 transacted last week because Nakhil released some villas for cancellation. There were over 250 inquiries received for them. And uh, they were sold out again within, within a few minutes. There's always been a lot of demand over here. There were a lot of trans there were a few transactions that were done in, in early 2023, but since then we've seen a decline in number of resale activity because there are less options available, less sellers in the market. So what Nikhil's recent release has shown us is there's a lot of demand in this area, but the property types are not limited. Most of the land that you're seeing here now is uh, is pretty much accounted for. So uh, you know. That is why we always must continue to like try to keep finding good value opportunities in the market. And uh, so our investment ideas will keep evolving as well over time. We focus on less things, but we try to dig deeper and try to, because it's not just about uh, promoting an idea or talking about something. I think anyone can do that. The other side of making this kind of content is being able to deliver on the other side. So we've got a brokerage business that's been around since 2012. Uh, a lot of our principals have been involved in real estate since even 2008, 2009. You know, so we have a lot of experience as well. We've got a lot of nice tools at our disposal. We make uh, understanding these kind of investments much more enjoyable and digestible, I think. Uh, so, you know, if you are looking for someone out there to assist you and guide you, and if you think that some of these projects that you're seeing on your screen might be interesting, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. Thank you.